Good morning, guys. Welcome to Dana's Health Journey. For those that are new, my name is Dana, and I have been on a weight loss health journey since August of uh, 2022. So it's been, I guess, um, what, a year and eight months now. Um, anyway, just woke up not long ago and having some coffee and thought I'd chat with you guys. Today's my weigh-in day. It's weigh-in Thursday. I have been on Weight Watcher since the beginning of my journey, and it has worked great for me. I know a lot of people say it doesn't for them, but um, I've had a lot of success with it as long as I stuck with the plan. And so that's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about today. I had gotten within eight um, pounds of my goal weight that I had set for myself in the very beginning. I was kind of stuck where I was right at my 80 pound weight loss and had been for probably two months and that I wasn't going to continue doing my weekly weigh-ins. But you know what I've noticed? knowing that I'm not doing a weekly weigh-in, I'm not doing as well. I mean, I'm still doing it, but since I'm not accountable to y'all, <laughs> um, and I don't go to the in-person meetings anymore. I did in the beginning, and they helped tremendously knowing someone else is weighing you in, or it did me. I mean, it helped me a lot. Um, but then when I went from that to still updating you guys, I had y'all there to keep me accountable, and when I said I was not going to do that, it's like I thought, hey, no big deal, I'll eat this or I'll eat that and it'll might show up a pound or two here or there. It'll come right back off. Well, let me tell you. Let me have a sip of coffee first. <laughs> I told y'all about a month ago, I think, that I had gone on a vacation with my sisters and then my husband and sons met me and I went on with them. It was during spring break week. So it might not have been a full month ago, but pretty close, three weeks ago. Um, and when I got home, I had gained their vacation pounds that I always gain is like two to three pounds and then usually within a week and a half or so it comes right back off. Um, but during this time I have also uh, been making kombucha at home um, since 2020 I guess and that has helped tremendously. It helps with like the prebiotic, probiotic, gut health. It, it does all the the good stuff that is you know supposed to do and since I try to stick with a high protein diet, I need extra help with my digestion. And uh, I had started taking some Plexus as well. And um, I've kind of even slacked on that, to be honest. I don't know what my deal is. But anyway, when I got home from my trip, my kombucha was past the date. You know, I wait like seven to 10 days to make it after it sets. And it had been closer to two weeks, so I didn't want to use it. So I poured it, all that off and started another another batch. It should be ready to be made either today or tomorrow. So that'll be great. I can start drinking those every day. But anyway, I have had some major issues with my digestion ever since I've got back from that trip. I mean, I do lots of things to help with it, but that kombucha seems to be what I need. So... Um, Anyway, I've just been thinking, you know, well, that's because I'm not being able to use the restroom like what I should. And I know that plays a huge factor. And this is kind of yuck, but uh, I'll share with you guys because y'all are friends, right? Um, my son's birthday one year, I guess it was two years ago. I think so. I had gotten him one of those big double doozy cookie cake things with all the pretty bluish green colored icing on top. Well... I ate a couple pieces of that, didn't think anything about it. Seven days later is when I noticed that it had came through. <laughs> it made an exit. And y'all, that's not good. I don't know how long you're supposed to have, you know, your food from start to finish. I, I don't know any of that. And I hate to kind of get into that, those details because that may kind of gross some of you guys out. But I would think it would be a lot less than a week. So... Um, and I have had some colonoscopies because we have some family history of colon cancer. So I started doing those very young. And um, thankfully, I haven't had any polyps or anything. But he told me, he said, you have some major problems with constipation. So anyway, if you guys have any um, thing that works for y'all, please listen in the comments. Because I'm always on the hunt for something natural that, you know, I hate taking taking stuff to help with it. But I have to. Um, so anyway, back to my vacation pounds. <clears throat> I thought that, you know, it would come right off in the next week or so. Let me tell you about that. <laughs> I weighed last week, and I may have mentioned it in one of my videos that I had still uh, kept those three pounds for my vacation. Well, let me also post probably my last two or three weekly uh 
totals on my Weight Watcher app. It's like, it tells you how far in the negative you are or how many points you have left. And let me show you what I have been doing. I have just kind of jumped off track since vacation. Um, I'm still tracking everything, which is very beneficial because now I can look back and see what my problem is, not only with digestion. I know that played a huge part in it, but um, we have been going out to eat and eating at church and eating at parties. And, and it's just kind of like, I thought my I'm not really having to weigh in now, so I'll just eat and get take care of it later. You know, I'll, I'll deal with that before the end of the week or I'll deal with it next week. Well, I have kept my three pounds from um, my vacation plus up another pound and a half. So I'm going to nip it, nip it, nip it right now. <laughs> um, I actually ordered some more of my Built Bars that I like to snack on, my protein uh Built bars and I've ordered some greens. I've been researching. I did the athletic one greens for a while and they're so expensive. Um, so I found several um, articles like on Google and different things that said that I think it's called Live It Up or something like that. And they have greens and matcha and I don't know what else, but it's real uh, supposed to be one of the closest to athletic greens for probably half the price, close to it anyway. Um, and it's third party tested, organic, all those things. I've, I've really been checking all that out. So anyway, I'm going to try that because it is supposed to be really good for digestion. And I took greens a few years ago and I could tell it made a big difference. I'm getting serious. I'm going to recommit. Next week, I'm doing a weigh-in for you guys, and most importantly for me, because I need that accountability. So you guys hold me accountable. Um... But anyway, I just wanted to chat this morning while I have my coffee. I've got a Rainforest Cafe cup. I don't know if y'all can see that. We've had that for years, but it's one of my favorites. It's it's kind of the big, just the perfect size. Um, but anyway, I just want to let y'all know. I want to be honest with y'all. I know we all struggle, and I don't ever want anybody to think that I'm not, because I do. <laughs> I sure do. Um, but anyway, so this week, I'm up. I believe it's a pound and a half. From my lowest point last month, I'm up four and a half pounds. Vacationing plus. So, I'm going to get my digestion kicked in gear again. <laughs> Kick it in gear again. And, um, and then really start keeping my points in check. Because I believe last night when I was tallying up, I think it was almost like, right, or maybe more, like negative 200. And like I say, I will post those for you guys. Um, I may have already posted those on here. I think I told you I would. But anyway, it, it's a huge negative number, and it has been for three weeks. So I know what my problem is on top of the digestion issue, so I know how to fix it. And that's one good thing. Um, I have a little saying that, and I think I may have it, a little uh, picture of it. If I can find it, I'll put it on here. But it says, don't let your slip turn into a slide. And you think about a slide, if you slip, it's pretty easy just to either catch yourself and hop right back up or maybe just slip and not go all the way down. But when you're sliding, your gravity's got a hold on you and you're going down. Um, and so a slide is a whole lot harder to come back from and I'm not going to have it. I've worked too, too, too hard this past over a year and a half to let that happen. So I'm excited. Here it is spring and summer and I do not want to gain another ounce. So thank you guys so much. Y'all don't know what a huge blessing you are for me. And I've had so many new subscribers in, over the past few weeks. So I welcome you and I'm excited. You guys are so sweet leaving your, your sweet comments. Ask any questions. Um, if I have an answer, I'll be sure and share with you. So anyway, I just wanted to say with God, all things are possible. Because he is our helper for sure in all things. If we ask, he will. He will be there for us. So, um and two, we can do this together. Like I say, I need you guys. <laughs> anyway, I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.